Uh, what's that like for you as a teammate to see one of your one of your teammates uh, kind of take uh, trailblaze in that way with you know a business and that kind of message going out to people? Um, I think it's something great. Um, that a lot of us has been supportive of. Um, you'll see a different uh, variety of guys rocking T-shirts, sweatshirts, and different things from Trey's um, company. And, you know, I hope everybody else, you know, gets a chance to dive into it and get a chance to support him because, you know, he's doing great. He's done a lot of things with shoes and did stuff for the coaches versus cancer and for the coaches as well. So it's been great. Coach, uh, was mentioning earlier that uh, that the team is, is trying in earnest to figure out a way to find uh, an extra game because you have a, a free one on your schedule because of the right the COVID postponement. Is that something that you as a player would want to do, kind of have a game, an extra game after this weekend sometime to kind of like help the resume or something? Um, I trust Coach. I don't really get into all that stuff. Um, I mean – I'm pretty sure we're going to do what's best for us at the end of the day. Um, we we A lot of the games that we play early on are holding pretty solid weight for us to be still in contention to make the tournament. And um, If the game's going to help us, I'm pretty sure the coaches will try to get one. But if it's not going to do anything for us, I'm pretty sure we won't play another one. So, you know, I leave that up to the coaches and let them figure that stuff out. And I'll just be ready to play. What would you say is the team's sense of urgency right now going into the last week of the season? Um, I think it's high. Um, I know me today, it just, uh, just small things start to tick you off a little bit that we can't like, you know, keep saying, oh, it's my fault or, uh, my bad or certain things like that. And, you know, I've just been trying to stress to guys and even coach stressed it today. Like, Hey, these guys don't get another chance at this thing. And I know this, this road has came back fast and, you know, I'm just, the urgency has to be, you know, very urgent and just telling guys, you know, we got to do what we came to do, and that's win. And we got to value every possession on offense and defense in order to get where we want to go. Have you put in any thought into what you think uh, your emotions might be coming up on, on Saturday night for your last home game as, as, a, as a college basketball player? Um, no, not really. I know it'll be a surreal moment. And, um, all I know is I can say that this definitely will be my last, last <laughs> home game. Uh, there's no chance I'll be back next year. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm just going to enjoy it, you know, enjoy the moment. You know, I've been blessed to be able to play at three great universities and played, you know, five years and sat one and just going to, you know, soak it all in and, you know, just enjoy the moment, honestly. Um, yeah, I think, you know, my mom, my sister, and my grandma will be there for sure. And then, you know, those who couldn't make it um, will be there in spirit. But, you know, this is going to be exciting, you know, finish the year off at home. And last year we kind of had a senior night, and it was – we at Milwaukee we had no fans. So, you know, this would be great for me to actually have somebody to walk out with and have a little moment with. Obviously, senior night coming up, you've had kind of a unique career in different spots. Um, just tell us your feelings and what stood out to you about your your year in Provo. Um, you know, I I can't say how you know blessed I am to be able to play for the university, um, be able to come here and contribute to you know a great historic program. Um, you know, we still got a lot of basketball left for us. You know, for us to get to where we want to be but you know it's just been a great experience overall on and off the court you know build a lot of relationships with guys you know throughout the athletic department and through other sports teams and you know guys who came and just supported us and so you know it's, I just you know trying to soak it in and I've been very grateful for you know just meeting a lot of people building relationships that can last a lifetime. Tijon this is really it's, it's easy in some ways for graduate transfers to kind of come in as sort of a necessarily do that. I mean, you're here for basketball, obviously, but like you really immerse yourself in like the culture, the school, the university, um, you and several other teammates. What was it about this place that made you want to really dive into, not just BYU basketball, but BYU in general? Um, 
You know, I I just wanted to. It, it's a famous thing. One of my coaches used to say, um, used to say, make every place your big time. So you know, I just wanted to soak it in while I was here. You know, enjoy my moment. Just not be a a basketball player here. I wanted to experience different things. You know, go to different sporting events and go to different you know places and exploring Utah. I've never been to Utah in my life before. So you know, I just wanted to be able to not just say, hey, I only went to the the MC and the NX and that's it. But I just wanted to explore, you know, as many things as I can as possible and soak in the moment because, you know, you never know what can happen or when I'll be back to Utah or anything like that. So I just love to soak in wherever I am at. Related, related question. Um, what did it mean to you personally to be part of that starting lineup, that historic starting lineup at UCLA? Um, definitely, you know, an honor or anything, you know. Um, I think it was great just to show, you know, the diversity we have here at BYU. And, you know, we've been talking about the diversity inclusion with a lot of people. And we, our diversity inclusion leader has been leading it great. And um, I just think it was, you know, a great moment just to show that you anybody doesn't matter the race or, you know, your belief um, is just a faith-based school. And most people have, you know, some a little bit of faith. And you can come here and be successful no matter what's your skin color, you know, no matter what's your background. And that's all we were trying to, you know, make. It, we didn't want it to be a, a big deal about race or anything. It, it just so happened, you know, it can be four black people in there and five non-members. And, you know, that's just how the game played out. It wasn't something we set up. It was like, hey, let's do this to take a picture or let's do this to just make history for one day or anything like that. We just... That's how it ended up playing out, and then, you know, Coach brought it to us, and, you know, that's how it went. So, you know, just honored to be able to be a part of something special like that, and hopefully it's just the start of something that could, you know, possibly change. One of the guys mentioned that it, I think it was your idea. Once you guys found out what starting lineup was and kind of realized what it might mean, it was your idea to, like, take a photo of the group to maybe use later. What kind of went behind that, like, decision-making, that kind of moment where you're like, oh, we should maybe, like, document this? Um, we kind of, uh, I was probably the one who said, let's take a picture. Um, I know we talked about it the day before, like, hey, uh, coach, I just mentioned it. Like, hey, I don't know if, if it's true or not, but I think he said he didn't know possibly if it's be the first time five non-members started and something like that and four black people. And then, you know. I didn't know if it was true or not. No one knew if it was 100% true. And then, so yesterday, the day afterwards, um, I just, you know, told our camera guy, Preston, like, hey, can we capture this moment just in case, you know, we can, we have some success with it. And if we would have lost the game, I definitely wouldn't have <laughs> posted that picture. But um, uh, glad we was able to get a win. But, you know, at the end of the day, I just wanted to capture the moment and, you know, be able to embrace it, look look forward, you know, 10 years from now and be like, hey, I remember we did this, or hey, I remember we uh, had these four, five, nine members, and now look at the school now. It's completely diverse. You know, they got members, nine members, half, it's teams half and half, and, you know, different starting lineups each game and stuff like that. So it's just something to look back on at the end of the day, just to capture a memory, that's all.